Today we're looking at Apple's braided solo loop for the Apple Watch. Now this bracelet has been around for two years and is also very popular among users, which is why I thought I'd give it a try. And I can only agree with this popularity. This band is so comfortable, light and elastic and can adapt perfectly to any wrist without any problems. As much as I like the link bracelet, the Milanese or the leather bracelet because it looks so elegant and is also very comfortable. I still wanted a bracelet that was even more flexible, good looking and also very comfortable at the same time. And these three characteristics can be found in the braided solo loop. But let's start from the beginning. The braided solo loop costs 99 euros and they come in different colors and sizes. The color I have here is called midnight. A very dark blue, which actually looks more like dark gray and sometimes depending on the lighting conditions, the dark blue color comes out a little more. Besides the color midnight, there are also the colors rainforest. That is a dark and strong green, slate blue, beige and red. You've probably noticed that this bracelet doesn't have a clasp that you can open and close like any other bracelet. It's closed all the way through and is made from a single piece of fabric. The braided solo loop has a stretchy design and is really very comfortable and can be easily put on and taken off by slipping it over your hand. It has such a slight texture when you run your finger over the braided areas. It feels soft, comfortable and light on the skin and I never noticed it negatively in any way. And sometimes you even forget that you are wearing it. And it's also sweat and water resistant. Since this bracelet has no clasp, there are 12 different sizes to choose from. So that everyone can find the right bracelet for their wrist. Of course, it's best if you have the opportunity to try them out in an Apple store first. But you also have the option of finding the right size for you at home. To do this, simply go to the braided solo loop on the Apple website and click on measure bracelet size. Here you have several options to determine the right size for you. For example, you can print out a form, cut it out and put it around your wrist, and it will show you the size that should fit you. But if you don't have a printer you can alternatively, like I did it, take everyday objects and measure the circumference of your wrist. For example, you can measure your wrist using a tape measure, and then tap on done and enter the measurements here. But make sure that you have measured it correctly, because if you enter 5 millimeters too much or too little, the wrong size may be recommended. In my case it is size 6, but I deliberately took the smaller size 5. I'll explain why I did that in a moment. Of all the Apple Watch straps I know or have worn, the braided solo loop is the most comfortable strap. You really have a very high wearing comfort, and also because there is no closure on the underside you always have the same very pleasant and soft feeling on all surfaces where it is on the skin. It hardly bothers you. Actually not at all and so far I haven't had any negative experiences in terms of comfort, be it scratching or pressing. With other straps that have a buckle, it was sometimes a bit annoying when I touched the edge of my MacBook or the table with my wrist. So I always had to push the bracelet forwards or backwards a bit. But that's never been the case with this band because it's just so insanely flexible. The reason I took the smaller size 5, and not the recommended size 6 on Apple's website is because I had heard from many user experiences that despite the size recommended on Apple's website, the bracelet was a little bit loose. In fact, several people have recommended going the smaller size than what is shown on Apple's size chart. And for me it was actually the case that the smaller size was just right for me. It fits snugly on the wrist, but it's not so tight that it becomes uncomfortable or pinches and I can even slide it back and forth slightly if needed. I really couldn't be happier when it comes to the comfort and flexibility of this bracelet. Just wanted to mention that, so that you can take that into account. If you are not sure which size might be the right one for you now, then I would also recommend you to take the smaller size. Because with the smaller size you can simply stretch the band a little more if necessary. So if you want a bracelet for your Apple Watch that is very comfortable to wear, has a sporty and elegant design and should be extremely flexible, then this is it. Feel free to write me your experience or questions about this bracelet or tell me which Apple Watch band you have in the comments. Okay guys that's it from me. Hope the video was helpful and you enjoyed it, and if so, then give it a like to let me know and I'll see you in my next video.